coming up on Around Kern County. Good news for local cyclists and runners. A look at the latest extension of the Kern River Parkway bike path and when you can expect to hit the newest trails. And plans are underway for Lightning in a Bottle Music Festival. We're sharing all of the details when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Planning has begun for the 2022 Lightning in a Bottle Music Festival. As a first step in bringing the event back to our region, the Kern County Planning Commission gave the green light to a conditional use permit, allowing the festival to return to our Buena Vista recreational area. Lightning in a Bottle is scheduled to take place over Memorial Day weekend for the next five years, pending upcoming contract approvals from the Kern County Board of Supervisors. Lightning in a Bottle first came to Kern County in 2019, attracting music and art lovers to a weekend of entertainment that produced an impact of nearly $6 million on our local economy. For more information, please visit libfestival.org. The seven mile western extension of the Kern River bike path from Enos Lane at the Kern River to Buena Vista Lake is expected to be complete by the end of this month. We caught up with Public Works to give us a peek at how things are going as the project nears completion. Take a look. We're here at Buena Vista Lake, the new end of the Kern River Parkway bike path. The seven mile extension brings the total up to above 30 miles. The county is really excited to be able to finally achieve the goal of connecting Lake Mean to Buena Vista Lake with a class one bike path. Completing this lake to lake connection was no easy task. It took the coordination of many state, local, and federal agencies to ensure we overcome all of these environmental and right away obstacles. The seven mile extension goes through all different types of environments, through the Kern River itself, up through the Kern Water Agency and over here to Parks property where Lake Buena Vista is. This eight year project took the coordination of the City of Bakersfield, the County of Kern, the California Department of Transportation and multiple state and federal environmental agencies. Here in Kern County, bicycling is a way of life for many and connecting Lake Ming to Buena Vista Lake was a huge goal in removing bicyclists from the lanes of traffic and providing them a safe space where they can cycle for transportation or recreation. For more information about the Kern River Parkway bike path and other projects happening around the county, please visit kernpublicworks.com slash walk dash Kern. And Kern County is in the process of redistricting and you're invited to get involved. On Monday, November 8th, an in-person public hearing will be held before the Kern County Board of Supervisors, including a presentation on updated draft maps. The hearing will take place at 6 p.m. inside the Kern County Board Chambers, located at 1115 Truxton Avenue in downtown Bakersfield. But this isn't the only way you can make your voice heard. Here's a wrap up of all the ways you can provide input. With the winter season upon us, it's important to make sure we're doing all we can to stay healthy. This week, we're joined by Lupe Garcia from Aging and Adult Services, who's providing helpful information about how our Kern County seniors can enroll in health insurance. So our health insurance counseling and advocacy program provides services all year long to our Medicare beneficiaries. Our services are free. Um, and currently we're in open enrollment. Open enrollment runs from October the 15th through December the 7th, and it's Medicare's beneficiaries opportunity to review their plan options for the coming year. So how can our residents that are eligible for this program, the Health Insurance Counseling and Advocacy Program, access this? Simply by calling our office, they would speak to a registered health insurance counselor who is trained um, and registered through California Department of Aging to provide unbiased assistance. You can help local shelter animals have a happy Thanksgiving. Right now, Kern County Animal Services is accepting donations to treat their pets to a special holiday meal. You can give canned chicken, instant mashed potatoes, and green beans to the animal shelter, which will be used to feed shelter animals who are not adopted before the holiday. 
If you're looking to give one of these pets a loving home over the long weekend, Animal Services will be holding a foster drive through pickup the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. If you would like to donate or foster, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. And we're ending today with the Kern County Library putting their services on wheels. They're making reading accessible by updating their story tour routes and extending them through February of 2022. Story Tours is a bookmobile service supported by the Community Action Partnership of Kern. Bookmobile routes visit different library locations, schools, Head Start centers, and parks across our community. Story Tour visitors receive a free book for their home library and have access to other services, including registering for a library card and signing up for reading challenges. To check out the latest Story Tour routes, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.